to Manitoba Bushcrafting and Reviews. I'm Alex, and we are going to check over all of my gear for the winter. Okay, so starting over here, we have the Mystery Ranch Pintler. It is a 41 liter pack, and as many of as you guys know, probably because I've shown it a thousand times, but it's got the overload feature, so I can stick this dry sack in between the frame and the pack and pretty much double the volume that I would be able to carry if I just use the regular pack. Moving on over here, this is a cheap dry sack I picked up, it's by World Famous I think, and uh, got this little beanie which I actually really really like because it's soft on the inside and it covers your ears in cold weather. Uh, you guys are going to see that I overpack here and that's partially because this is also a doubles as a bug out bag so I got like five pairs of gloves and yeah some of it's unnecessary okay so we got the cheap uh, sleeping bag here as you can see it's made by uh, well maybe you can't see it doesn't say there but it's the Arctic light 658 or whatever I can't see that far but it's cheap. I only paid 90 bucks for that. Uh, then I got my uh, Gen 3 Level 7 Big Puff Suit Pants. Or the Marshmallow Suit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my experience with these is they're pretty much... Oh, sorry guys for the focus. They're only good as pajamas. And it's mainly because of this Velcro right here. No matter what I do, it just doesn't hold. See, I'm pressing it against the against the fuzzy velcro here and it's just not even gripping at all and those are brand new when I got them so I'm not too impressed with those but I, if I'm not using them in my sleeping bag as pajamas I use it as a pillow so it does have a use um, cheap ground tarp 20 bucks uh, these leather mittens I like these because wind does not penetrate them and they don't really get wet either okay always got some mason twine here just in case uh, you need to rig up something really quickly I got some work gloves here once again just in case you got like cut wood do stuff like that this over here is my neck gaiter and that does come in handy too in the cold then up here right here is uh, a bag of tinder mainly uh, cattail fluff so I can make char cloth if I ever had to. Another pack of, uh, pouch there full of uh, paracord. So I think there's 100 feet of paracord in that pouch. Just in case, you never know. The food bag. It's looking pretty low here. It's I think this is a 5 liter. No, 2.5 liter. But uh, when you stuff it full, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. I got the rain fly for my mystery ranch pack. Uh, my Gore-Tex uh, Gen 3 Level 6 jacket in OCP, uh, Scorpion W2 camo. Then I got the Gen 2 pants right here. Surprisingly, they pack down pretty small. I can fit them in the lid of this Pintler, and the lid is only that big with the jacket. So that works out. Okay, let's get up to row 2 here. We got the Teton Altos negative 10 or minus 23 Celsius bag. That's negative 10 Fahrenheit. The new addition, which you guys have seen a lot of in the last few videos, is the tent. That's the Starlight One by Robins. <clears throat> My medical kit, or IFAC, whatever you want to call it. It's got random stuff in it for medical use. Uh, My lantern. Don't know what brand that is. It's, I think it's just a Walmart lantern then uh, the energizer flash head headlamp that I'm testing out then we got my uh, spider co sharp maker <clears throat> uh, over there in the corner that's just a fuzzy hat real tree hat a pair of no-name gloves over there and then the hot paws and I tested those hot paws the other night those are really nice gloves then I got my possibles pouch right there which is 
full of medical stuff. It's got my water filter in there, uh, spork, hand warmers, foot warmers, tons of little stuff. It's just that thing takes up a giant portion of that pintler. I got, uh, and I'm carrying them around with me. I know everybody's going to say don't do that because it's heavy, but if, if I ever had to leave my house in a hurry, I want them with me, so I keep them in the dry sack. And three, these are, how many grams are these? Let's just see here. 230 grams. And uh, yeah, we'll be testing one of these out here in an upcoming video. And if I can find the winter mixture, we will be testing that out too eventually. Then we've got the other new addition, the jet boil there. Behind here, we got the Yeti mug, the Keith's titanium cook set. Uh, I forget how many milliliters of water it holds, but uh, that was actually really expensive, and I don't think I should have spent what I spent on it. Uh, then we got this Climate Static V light, the weak spot in all my gear. Uh, it is insulated, but it's only got an R value of 4.4. And that's just not cutting it in the winter time. So uh, that is a really good pad. Review is going to come up on this pad because I pushed it into really low temperatures. Uh, I've abused it, spilt stuff on it, laid it in the dirt. It's just still keeps going. Uh, I'll leave it for the review. Never mind. And that is about it. So that, that's a look at my winter setup as of. Uh, February 2021 and uh, like I said the only weak spot is that sleeping pad at that I can see at the moment but everything else is on point is where, where I want it anyhow guys if you like the video click like if you want to share hit share comment down below if you have something to say and consider subscribing uh, Regular videos should resume around the 15th, and we will be doing an overnighter around that time. And yeah, uh, hope you guys join me.